Thank you, Speaker. And I want to begin by thanking the good chairman of the Consumer Protection Committee, Chairman Matsey, who has uh, always worked in a bipartisan way. I also want to thank uh, his colleague on the Republican side of the aisle. Uh, I, I admit I missed his remarks yesterday, uh, but Chairman Marshall will be greatly missed. And the two gentlemen have always worked so well together on behalf of their constituents and on behalf of consumers. Uh, again, I would note uh, the tremendous work they did on rail safety earlier this session, and I want to thank them for the work that they've done to protect consumers. Uh, I would also be remiss if I didn't, on the retirement of Chairman Marshall, just admit how much on a personal level we're going to miss his graciousness, his willing to work bipartisan, in a bipartisan manner and work for the benefit of all Pennsylvanians. And I think this bill and this product is in keeping with the tremendous work that we've seen out of the Consumer Protection Committee. Uh, I've just heard the good minority leader uh, make an argument at a time when people are feeling the pinch of utility bills to talk about the plight of the poor utility company. Uh, I've never heard that argument at a time uh, where people are struggling to pay their bills that what we need to do is squeeze the, the consumer a little bit more and not have the protections in place that we need to make sure uh, that people can heat their home and not face shutoffs in the type of uh, scenario that uh, the good gentleman would put us in if we did not pass this bill. Uh, so with that, I want to again thank our two great chairmen for standing up for consumers, for working in a bipartisan way, and really being uh, the gold standard for how committee work should be done and bring a bill in front of us that protects consumers, that stands up for the consumer over the big utility companies. Thank you so much.